Welcome into uh, Sunday sermon. Uh, this is Mr. Fuller. He's looking up this sermon with the section of the Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr.'s book that we're going to be read from. He always does that because we're in South Africa, and you know, well, you know, I should, anyway, if we, he's a citizen. I, he's got to do the. He's got to make the choices. I don't make no choices around here. Um, so, but what, what section are we in? Uh, uh, the ninth area of activity: uh, war, yeah. counter war, counter war. And this comes from the original, the original, I know before you get to page uh, yeah. 2, was it 214? Yeah, 240. This is the original, uh, the original original. <laughs> Came out in 1984, I think it was. Um, and it's uh, you know, for, for the, the United Independent Compensatory uh, c um, Code System Concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victim of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. And so this is the original, original Biggie, Biggie book. He has other editions yeah. um, that um, has come out, I think 2016, 17 was, um, they had, well, 2010, the uh, Word Guide came out. We have Word Guide, a little bit of Word Guide at the end of the original book. He has a whole Word Guide. And then I think in 2016, let's say it is, this is the words at the end of the thing. Um, and the original uh, was revised in 2016. So you, you can get all that. And also, because people like the original thing, they also reissued that in a smaller format. But this is the original format. I got it because uh, one of my fraternity brothers um, gifted it to me. Oh, hey, isn't that nice? Um, oh, Papa. Yeah, it was good. Uh, so, Mesa Kloli is here because he's the translator. We're in South Africa. He's translating into Isikosa because that's his, that's his so called mother tongue. His, you know, uh, the 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 copyright 1969, yeah. 72. But this, oh, when did this come out? I guess. 84. Yeah, 84, like I said. Yeah. So this is the 84 edition. Yeah. We'll get it together. Hey, look, yeah. let, let's get into it. Like, the, what, what yeah. page are you reading from? 214. 214. 214. Yeah. Uh, which, which section do you want me to read? War. But we are here. Uh, so reasons. Finally, but yeah. this one here, don't? Yeah. Okay. No, we are, this is our funda. Okay, so we're going to read. Uh, we're going to read this, this section here. This is the section. <laughs> Don't enact maximum emergency compensatory uh, justice, compensatory justice, in a manner that confuses its enactment with some purpose other than the promotion of justice. I know I read so, the whole thing, but let's go ahead. So when is it? Now, what he does is he has, he makes a statement. When's a statement? See, it's in bold here. And then he gives the reasons for making that yeah. statement. So, now, so reasons, explanations. It is very important that all of the basic characteristics of maximum and oh, let me we better break that up. It is very important. It is very important that all of the basic characteristics of maximum emergency compensatory justice be known and understood. And never misunderstood. But any person who undertakes to enact it, or uh, or explain it, I said, but, but and uh, by any person who undertakes it or enacts it or explain or explain it. Okay. 
If such basic characteristics are not understood, many acts which may appear to be maximum emergency compensatory justice may be mistaken for maximum emergency emergency compensatory justice. Any act which does not conform to the specific basic characteristics Excuse me. Of maximum emergency compensatory justice. Cannot be correctly called. Or thought of. As maximum emergency compensatory justice. It is important that maximum emergency compensatory justice always retain its special characteristic, its special character. It should not be confused with any other form of activity. No matter how similar to maximum emergency emergency compensatory justice, such activity may appear to be either in conduct or objective. Okay, I'm not going to try, but we've we'll been talking so a long time here now, so yeah. I don't want to continue, but we'll, let's just leave it at that. But you have to understand what's maximum emergency compensatory justice. Okay, so that's under the war, counter war um, um, section of the. Of the uh, of the of the nine areas of human activity. With the nine areas Ubuntu. The first area is economics. The second area is education. The third area is entertainment. The fourth area is labor. The fifth area is law. The sixth area is politics. The seventh area is religion. The eighth area is sex. The ninth area of human activity is war counter war. And these are the areas that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has a has it has defined as the nine areas of human activity. Now we of our Sunday sermon series, we uh we don't deal with the eighth area of human activity, which is the area of sex. Um, uh, well, I'm not going to say the reason. We don't. Let's just say we don't. But, but Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., uh, is, uh, they have a program, the Compensatory Concept Program, based on this book that comes on every uh, Tuesday. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., the program is on the internet. Uh, and you can catch it every Tuesday between nine and well, you catch it every Tuesday. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just just look up. Uh, 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 you go to the website, uh, producejustice.com. Yeah. Well, we are full again. 
website kama sikiliza flash ni uproducejustice.com ngole zibi okay we'll see you again sometime sagubola ngamana makaya shots ya black